Hi, my name is Ruth and I'm a clinical nurse specialist for the High Risk Cardiac Pregnancy Service here at University College London Hospital Trust. To provide you with some information in relation to why my role is relevant, well, cardiac disease has been found to be the leading cause of maternal death for the whole of this decade. And this is partly due to the hemodynamic burden that is associated with pregnancy. So in 2006, my role was created and advertised as a clinical nurse specialist to lead and manage the pregnancy service. And during that time, there were around 30 patients who were already pregnant and 200 patients who had completed their pregnancies and gone through the service. And now we have more than 50 patients pregnant at any one time and the number of completed pregnancies has more than doubled. My background has always been within cardiac nursing with a specialty of congenital heart disease. And the patient population that is relevant for the service is generally any lady who has a cardiac diagnosis and most of these ladies have had palliative surgery in childhood. So the cardiac diseases that we, um, we mainly look after are women who have moderate to highly complex congenital heart disease lesions. Um, also those women who have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or dilated cardiomyopathy. And also patients who have left-sided obstruction due to stenotic valves following rheumatoid valvular heart disease. We are also a tertiary centre that specialises in providing a service for women who have had or who have um, peripartum cardiomyopathy or patients who have postpartum cardiomyopathy and also those who have inherited arrhythmias. There are many definitions that I believe to be relevant in regards to nurse-led services um, regarding the, the service that I lead for patients on an outpatient basis and an inpatient basis. And some of our clinical decisions are made by myself, but the majority are made in conjunction with a consultant cardiologist, Dr. Fiona Walker. When I commenced my role, I sent out a patient satisfaction survey for all of those ladies who had been through the service. And this allowed me to identify the key elements of the service that required my attention. It was also important to create an identity for the service and to advertise accordingly, not only within the internal environment, but also externally to other hospitals and GP practices. And this allowed all relevant referrals to come through the correct channels. All referrals to the pregnancy service and the preconceptual counselling service come through myself um, to be logged and recorded. And this is, allows me to have the responsibility to ensure that all patients are seen within the correct time frame. And as you can imagine, this can often be challenging when some patients require monthly assessment uh, during their nine-month pregnancy. I work Monday to Friday, general office hours, although this has to be flexible, and run eight pregnancy clinics with a cardiologist um, every month. During these clinics, I meet with all of the patients. I provide a basic cardiac assessment and speak with them counsel them and offer health promotion accordingly. I also am involved uh, regularly with teaching the multidisciplinary team um, to provide information about case, um, cases that are coming up for delivery um, or just to provide general um, diagnostic information for our obstetricians and our anaesthetists. And I also create detailed patient-specific and lesion-specific delivery plans. Audit and research is uh, about 50% of my role and consumes about 50% of my time, which allows the maternal outcome of our patients to be assessed and to be evaluated. Without this audit work, um, I wouldn't have been able to have evaluated uh, the ways in which we have cared for these patients 
and then created the abstracts which we have submitted and have been accepted to not only national conferences but international cardiology conferences. This isn't my most favourite part of my role, but when you get invited to speak in Valencia and Copenhagen and Vienna, then it does have plus sides.